this state, the one who is doing everything to prevent the candidate from being a saint, the cause of the state. You are the one who works for the cause of the state. And then the opposite one. The other side works to prevent the canonization. He will do everything to prevent. The other side will do everything that the person will be canonized. And here we have our uh, guest speaker as the postulator or the one who works for the cause of the Saint of Juan Diego. He is co-founder and rector of the Institute of Guadalupe Guadalupe Studies and is a canon of the Basilica of Guadalupe. Monsieur Chavez was born in Mexico City on December 31st, 1956. He entered Mexico's Continuer Seminary where he studied philosophy and theology in the Institute for Ecclesiastical Studies, Instituto Superior de Estudios Escolásticos. He was ordained on August 15, 1981 in the Metropolitan Cathedral of the Archdiocese of Mexico. He holds a diploma in philosophy from the Universidad del Valle de Atemajac in Guadalupe, a doctorate in church history from the Pontifical Gregorian University with a thesis La Iglesia in Mexico, Hacia el Concilio Plenario Latinoamericano. <laughs> it's not twisting. It, of 1896 to 1899, the first in Mexico during the Latin American Plenary Council. On May 17, 2001, Cardinal Norberto Rivera Carrera, Archbishop of Mexico, appointed him postulator for the cause of Juan Diego and was canonized on. July 31st, 2002. Mr. Chavez was also General Secretary for the visit of Pope John Paul II in Mexico. Through his work as postulator and beyond, Mr. Chavez has made many contributions to the study of the Guadalupe event, addressing major academic institutions internationally and publishing more than 28 books and articles. Monsieur Chavez was named Canon of the National Basilica of Our Lady of Guadalupe in 2005. He was named the first rector of the Catholic University to do of the Archdiocese of Mexico, where he has served since 2002. And in 2003, he became a founding member and rector of the Institute of Guadalupe Studies. Without much ado, let, me, let us welcome Monsignor Chavez. The pronunciation is so wonderful. Uh, I'm so sorry for my English. I speak Spanish, you know. You speak Spanish as well. Yes, but, but, uh, un poquito. But my English is so terrible, I know. But anyway, we try to understand. Uh, this is one. Second, this is my first time in Philippines in order to speak about for Lego Lube. Also, it was my first time in Hong Kong, Thailand, Thailand, Taiwan, Taiwan, and I'm so so happy and it surprised me a lot. Really, this devotion very strong to our Lego Lube and. Uh, it's for me a, a great honor to be here, but I am not alone. Why? Because I give classes in Mexico to many people. Every Monday, to 200 people every Monday. And they pray for you, because I ask that to my people, they pray for you. I am not alone. And also, I come in with our Lego also. Our Lego Lupe, uh, well, we need we need 500 hours, okay, to speak about the four Lego Lupe. But you tell me two hours, okay, and that will be very difficult, very difficult because you need 
more and more and more, and this is very short, but anyway, this is maybe this, the first step in order to go more. Mm. <laughs> you got it, my English? Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, I can move with this, just a little. Okay. The evangelization in Mexico, coming, coming the first missionaries, yes. Uh, Franciscans, Dominicans, that was very difficult for them. Very difficult. Titanic moment. No language, only 35 persons to millions of the indigenous, and also, I think this is the worst, uh, division. Division between the Catholics. Division. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay, you, 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 you. Okay, you. Okay. Only you, you. Okay. And after you, only you. Okay, you. Also you. And this, and this one. Okay? Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's okay? Yes? You hear? Okay? You are Franciscans. <laughs> Humble, smart, workers. Okay? Yes or no? Yes. Okay? 
but will be very difficult because they are in division and jealous and fight between the Catholic people. At that time, at that time, now Franciscans and Dominicans uh, is a, are a brothers, brothers, brothers now. At that time. Okay? The Diaz sons? Okay. <laughs> What was terrible. For that is so incredible, the evangelization through our Lady Mother. Why? Because she never, never take idols as the evil. No. She take the good things inside to your heart. She is possible for her to see the seed of the truth, put this, sorry, put <laughs> the seed, take the seed of the truth and put it right away in Jesus Christ. This is inculturate the gospel. Inculturate the gospel. Can you believe? No, no, take idols. No, 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 no. Only the good things inside to the people. You and I understand you, Franciscan, because you, can, you only the way is destroying this war in order to save the soul of the India, but destroy everything. You get it? You get it? The, the sense? This is inculturating the gospel. She never destroyed the people, never destroyed the good things inside of the hearts. And also, she. It's another form, it's another way to, to celebrate this inculturated gospel. It, she put Jesus Christ in your heart, no matter your language, no, no problem your culture, no problem your tradition, no problem the distance, no problem your borders, no problem nothing. She put Jesus Christ in your heart. <laughs> <laughs> After I give you something. <laughs> In full to the gospel. This is it. This is what. Who discovered this? I'm talking about this. Obviously, this is for the church. Yes, of course. It's uh, many, 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 many years ago we discovered this. Or oh, oh, uh, they talking about this form. Yes, I, I understand. But the Council of Vatican II put this very good in the in the documents. Very good. Council of Vatican II. But when arrived John Paul II in Mexico, she lost our Lady World. Something passed. Because he, uh, the Holy Father from Poland, you know, the Chesokova. But he lost our Lady Mother, and he mm, mentioned pontifical the, this this sentence. She is the model of perfect in good way the gospel. John Paul II. John Paul II. Okay. When I was a uh, very young and beautiful many mm -hmm. years ago. <laughs> I helped to end the mass. I helped John Paul II. 57 years old. Wow, very young, no? Very young like me, very young John. <laughs> and was incredible that day. But when we was the conversation with San Diego, I was one, one, one thing in this sense. How our uh, John Paul II loves our Lady Guadalupe. He was very sick, very weak, you know, very weak. 2002. The canonization of San Juan Diego was 31st July 2002. He was very sick, weak, very, very, no sé cómo se dirá, doblado, very dobladito, así, in this position, okay? Well, uh, I was in Rome in a meeting to organize everything because Holy Father 
fly first with the young people in Canada, with the young people. After Guatemala, in, in order to canonize Pedro de Betancourt, and finally in Mexico City, canonized Santa Maria. Okay? Very, very heavy, very heavy eh, for him. Well, uh, organize everything, flies, meetings, um, ceremonies, everything. Okay. Holy Father, uh, some person helped help him with the rural church, you know, arrived. Uh -huh. And he was like this, close the eyes, and hear the conclusions. Conclusion, the monsignors, techniques, uh, doctors, uh, apostolate. Me. Yeah. Okay? And the second moment, I was there, in the second moment, the doctor, uh, excuse me, how about my English? Do you understand? Yes. yes. Do you understand? Yes. No problem? Okay. If you have some doubt, uh, you. Mm, okay. <laughs> uh, doctors, monsignors, no? And said the moment, one of the doctors stand, stand up and said, Don't go to Mexico, Holy Father! Don't go to Mexico! No, <laughs> no, go to Mexico. You are very weak. You are very sick. The church uh, uh, beats you, needs you. Don't go to Mexico. And the other doctor, don't go to Mexico. And more monsignor, don't go to Mexico. Nobody say, don't go to Canada. <laughs> don't go to Mexico. Don't go to Mexico. This is true. I was there. Hmm? 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 <laughs> Don't go to Mexico. Don't go to Mexico. It's very hard. Canada, Guatemala, Mexico. You are very sick. Don't go to Mexico. Holy Father. Like, like, make like this. Actually, open the eyes. Blue, 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 blue eyes. Mexican eyes. <laughs> and see us like this. Are you finished? Yes, Holy Father. Yes, Holy Father. Yes, Holy Father. Make like this. I will go to Mexico. I need go and kiss our Lady Guadalupe image. I will go to Mexico. I need to kiss our Lady Guadalupe because in that image everything stopped. And he went like this. Shh. Let's go. You know? I myself go. <laughs> I was there. A lot of work. I, I took him with father. A lot of work. Because some people say, no, don't exist. San Diego, our lady Guadalupe, somebody painted that, blah, 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 blah. And every moment that whatever people talking about something, I need to work. I need to work. I need to work. I can find the documents and find that, da, 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 and work, and work, and work. Whatever, only open the mouth, and I work. I'm finished. I said, I said to my cabinet, no more. If somebody tells something against to our lady, he need a proof this. He need a proof this. Not only ba, 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 ba. You get it in my English? Yes. Okay. That person needs to prove this. I'm talking about this, or this, 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 this document. Okay. And now we stop it. But only to open the mouth and say whatever thing, with that, with nothing? No. I, I work too lot. A lot. I'm so tired. Okay? 
No, it's not true. I'm not so tired. <laughs> I'm so, so happy. You know, it's something incredible that we're lady to, to, to know more, more, and to know more hair, more, 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 more deep. And always I said, why, why, our lady, why you are in me? Because you, you, I know you are my mom, but why you want, I know you more. And I, here, I know why. Because it's important you know your mom. Because our lady Guadalupe is your mom. I talking with father in, in 1895, uh, was, I don't know in English, crown, our Lady Guadalupe from the Holy Father, 1895. Many bishops in whole America coming to the feast in Mexico. I think this is a great moment. Uh, the bishops in, in, the, in America understood more about the Holy Guadalupe in that moment. I think so. After my father pronounced perfectly. El Concilio Plenario Latinoamericano, the Consul, Plena, uh, Consul Latinoamericano in Rome. That was in 1899. One more time, the Bishop of whole America in, in Rome was the first time. Was the first time. Holy Father, Leon XIII, I don't know uh, Lion. Leo XIII. Uh, he come up, he called, and that was the first concert of whole Latin America in Rome. Aurel Guadalupe was there, and always, in all the ceremonies, Aurel Guadalupe. Obviously, all the bishops loved Aurel Guadalupe in that moment so much. They understand that Aurel Guadalupe is not. Um, Turn, turn against to the devotion, local devotion, of course. It's the same lady, Mary, Luz, Fatima, um, whatever. It's the same lady, no? Our Lady of Guadalupe is, in reality, original, is Jewish. It's Jewish, okay? It's not Mexican, it's Jewish. It's a lady, it's a woman, it's a, it's a mother of Jesus Christ. No, it's a Jewish lady. But she chose two names. Jewish name, Maria, Miriam. This is Jewish name, the root, the root is Jewish. And Guadalupe, Arabic name. Arabic, not Spanish. <laughs> Spanish knows that name, but it's Arabic name. She shows that name. The Spanish people never, never put that name to our Lady Guadalupe in Mexico. Never, never. And we have documents. The Spanish people try to take away, to take away the name to our Lady in Mexico. Guadalupe, no. Guadalupe, no. Guadalupe, no. It's Guadalupe. And that this is very, very nice, very important. Who uh, the name Mary, please? Who Mary? You, sister? Very good. Who? No. You, you. You, sister? Yes, of course. <laughs> Mary, 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 okay. Mary, Mary, of this side. Mary, Mary, one minute. Give me five, give me five, give me five, give me five. Give me five. Perfect. <laughs> Mary, 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 Mary. <laughs> Mary is the name most beautiful of the world. I'm so sorry for the others. <laughs> Mary, why? Uh, you help me. La elegida por Dios. God choose. God, God choose her. Chosen. It's chosen by God. La iluminadora. The one that illumines. It's not the light. The light is Jesus Christ. She illuminates with Jesus Christ. La más hermosa. The most beautiful. 
Are you doing this stuff? Yes. They're most beautiful. This is Mary, Jewish root. Guadalupe is the river that uh, is the el cauce, conduit the water. Is not the water. The water is Jesus Christ. She conduit the water. I don't know the river bed. Is it big? The river bed, the channel, ch channel, channel, channel with the water. Okay? The water is Jesus Christ. It's not here. The light is Jesus Christ. It's not here. Perfect. She chose that, that both name, Guadalupe. Father, some, somebody said that she pronounced another name, indigenous name, Quetzalalupe or something like that. It's not true. That is a mistake, very old mistake, 16, 1675, this, this mistake. Uh, for one man, the name Luis de Serra Tanco. Luis de Serra Tanco take, uh, told us. Luis de Serra Tanco, 1675, told us. Uh, in Nahua, don't exist the sound D. 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 Don't exist the sound G. And he said, well, who received the name is the uncle of San Juan Diego, Nahuatl, okay? And he never uh, understand Guadalupe because don't exist in Nahuatl, G and V. Ah, oh, come on, Luis Becerra Tanco. 1675, do you remember that? Eh? 1675, right? Eh? Oh, come on, Luis Becerra Tanco. Juan Bernardino and San Juan Diego have that name in 1524. The apparition in 1531, 31st, okay, 31st. Six years with that name. And in that name is the D. Juan Bernardino. Uh, uh, uh. Vino. Juan. Uh. Yeah. You got it, Father? You got it? Okay. And G, never our lady pronounced I am Gelupe. No. Gelupe. No. Gua. And this sound, the indigenous have this sign, eh? Ha. Teoti Wakan. Aguacate. Wakan. They mentioned woo woo. Perfectly. When Juan Bernardino understood perfectly, Guadalupe. Perfect. And this is so important. The Jewish and Arabic. What is important? Because Jewish and Arabic name is the root most important religion culture of the world. And in her always fight. Always fight. The Jewish and the Arabic always fight, fight. But in her is unity, love, identity. You got it? Yes. This is the most important uh, message of our lady Guadalupe. She said to Juan Diego, I want a holy house in order to give my love to Christ. And also, our lady Guadalupe said in the first moment to Juan Diego, said, I am your mom, the mother of all the people in this land, the mother of whole nation. I understand now one of the most important messages for the Guadalupe is unity, love, is to be family. You got it, my English? Yes. <laughs> because it is my third, you know. Uh, but yes, yes, because I, I see you face. <laughs> I, I don't know if it's a shock or, 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 or. Ah, well, I, I want to say something. This is the most beautiful uh, look at this uh, this uh, text is so beautiful, Father. So beautiful, it's the most beautiful I, I can see. It's so beautiful, really, eh? This is a Philippine art. Father, I want to pronounce something in Nahuatl. Yes, yes. 
Tagalo is okay, but now, now. Okay? Now. Uh, this side, please. This side. After I tell you why you pronounce it. Trokinawake. Franciscas, please. Trokinawake. Ipamenowani. Perfect. <laughs> Teyokoyani. Teyokoyani. Iwikawa Tlaltipaque. What's <laughs> happening? Okay. 
Why, Father, is so important Jesus Christ in our daily life? Because it's not only Mary. It's not the apparition, the normal apparition. No, no, no. Why, Father? Because she is wait a baby. She wait a baby. She's patroness of the life. She wait Jesus Christ. The center of her image, the center, is not her. It's him. Is Jesus Christ the center of her image? I don't say the Our Lady Guadalupe image is not important. No, no, no. I say the center of the image is Him. Is Jesus Christ. In other words, is not the apparition only of Our Lady. Is the encounter with God, with Jesus Christ, through Our Lady Guadalupe. This is important. I, I, I want to express this in another way, okay? In another apparition, important apparition, huh? I don't, it's the same lady, important apparition, Lul, Fatima, whatever apparition, is Mary. Because God sent to Mary among us, and after Mary talking, what's happened with God? In this case, no. In this case, Jesus Christ don't send Mary, no. Is Jesus Christ who asked, who begged Mary, please, I want to go inside among to the people. Please, I need you. You got it? I need you. Oh, this changed everything. Changed everything. I, I feel the Lord. I feel you. The, the chicken, little chicken. <laughs> oh, uh, something is Jesus Christ. He's not only the apparition, he's the encounter with God through her. I want to tell you something in order to understand more of this. God is powerful, yes or not? Yes. I don't know. Okay, yes. The Dyson? The Dyson? Yes? 